What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up. So, yo, with all the news circulating about Odell Beckham Jr. coming to the Dallas Cowboys, you got players speaking out, you got owners speaking out, you got fans speaking out. There is a lot of excitement around the possibility of Odell Beckham Jr. joining the Dallas Cowboys, which leads you to believe the Dallas Cowboys feel that there is a concern at the wide receiver spot. But I get often asked this question, yo. Tuck, what is going on with Jalen Tobert? Now, for some of you who may be new to this channel, first I'd like to say welcome, but this channel was one of the first channels to find Jalen Tobert out of South Alabama when we were doing all our draft content. He was a prospect that I found very early and was very high on coming into last year's NFL draft. And when we scouted Jalen Tobert, there was a few things that we noticed. We saw separation. We saw a big playability. We saw toughness. I saw a wide receiver that can play the X position, meaning outside, also the Y that can play inside, that can do a lot of different things and can also be a deep threat. So for me personally, I got to go back to my notes and say, you know what? Did we get it wrong, Tuck? Or is there something that's missing to this story? Now, if you watch the film coming out of college, you can barely see him because he's down at the bottom. But Jalen Tolbert was a wide receiver that can get upfield and go make plays. Look at that. Look at that. Right? He's able to stretch the field. He was able to have change of speed, get upfield, had very soft hands, and could make plays. And that was something that stood out on the film from him at South Alabama. And even if you go to the scouting report of him at the Singer Bowl, everything was in motion for this kid to be a dynamic prospect for any NFL team. Once again, down the field, down the field, can make plays, right? And so this is what got me excited about Jalen Tolbert. So when I dropped this video, I was like, yo, we found one. We found one, y'all. This is a guy who I think that can step in to this Dallas Cowboys offense and have immediate impact. Double team, get upfield, jump up, make the play, right? I love what I saw from Jalen Tolbert. So Tuck, why hasn't it worked out? And that's a fair question because I've been asking myself this as well. Now, I will say this, Jalen Tolbert got out to a very hot start in camp. You were hearing his name a lot. You were hearing his name a lot, you know, going on Oxnard, also rookie camp and also OTAs, right? He got to a very hot start and then something changed. Something changed when it came to Jalen Tolbert. And I'm not sure if it was an injury, even though Mike McCarthy said that he had a, a hamstring injury that kind of diminished things a little bit as far as special teams is concerned. But what really happened, y'all, I feel like the Dennis Houston thing kind of just over propelled Jalen Tolbert. And if I was Jalen Tolbert being the third round pick for the Dallas Cowboys at wide receiver, I'm not letting no undrafted guy get this close and create a connection with Dak Prescott. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going out to eat with Dak. I'm eating with Dak in the cafeteria. I am everywhere Dak Prescott is because I want to build that relationship. So it sounds like in camp, you heard a lot of Dak Prescott speaking about Dennis Houston, but you never heard him speak very highly about Jalen Tolbert. He did have some lapses in preseason, right? And when the season really started, he was inactive, right? He was inactive where we're sitting back screaming, where is Jalen Tolbert? And the fact that Dennis Houston got the starting nod over Jalen Tolbert, who was now on, on, on practice squad. So, you know, I feel like from that standpoint, that's where Jalen Tolbert's biggest mistake was. In camp, you gotta be tied to the hip with the quarterback because I want the quarterback and me to be fully in sync because I'm supposed to be his guy. But when you watch Jalen Tober from the reps he got versus Chicago, right? As of right now, y'all, he has one catch for four yards. He's only gotten like 14 snaps versus Chicago. I think he got 14 snaps versus the Giants, and that's where he got his one catch from Cooper Rush. He has pretty much been absent this entire NFL season. But when you watch how he's utilized, I mean, he's just not being considered in the passing concepts as of right now he's just the backside option for those of you who do not know what the backside option is right 
Michael Gallup, CeeDee Lamb, that's where Dak is looking first to get through his progressions. It would have to go backside to Jalen Tolbert, right? So Kellen Moore just isn't featuring Jalen Tolbert when it comes to the concepts. We have him down low here. Now this play, he gets behind the zone. Now you could have took a shot. Dak could have took a shot right here. Jalen Tolbert, see what he can do, right? But you know what? Dak's going to settle and go underneath. So I feel like, y'all, when it comes to Jalen Tolbert, I'm not going to fully say it's a talent thing yet. There has been some lapses that we know. Now, we don't see everything that goes on at practice from day to day. And when you're a rookie, every rep at practice means a lot, right? It means a lot because you got to show and prove that you belong out there on the field on Sunday. But most importantly, from Tolbert's uh, position, you got to prove, hey, yo, Dak, you can trust me. And I feel like right now, man, Jalen Tolbert is just getting big boy ball. And what do you mean by big boy ball, man? If you ever play basketball before, or hell, you even play NBA 2K, and you go to the My Park, and you're only an 87 overall, and you get on the field with a bunch of 99s, they ain't passing you the ball. They're not even looking your way. They're not even looking your way. Not even looking your way. They're going to play big boy ball and go around you. And I feel like right now, especially what happened versus the Chicago Bears, Dak was looking for his guys. He was going to Gallup. He was going to CD. He was going to Schultz. Like he was going to his guys where Jalen Tolbert was just an afterthought. So I would blame some of it on Tolbert, but also some of it on Kellen Moore. Even right here, right? You have the two clear outs. You have Jalen Tolbert underneath. Dak says, nah, going to CD fam. <laughs> uh, that's, that's cute. Nice little underneath route. That's cute. All right, yeah, I see you. You could have been open, but hey, it's NFL Sunday. I'm officially back. I'm trying to make my mark. I am going to CeeDee Lamb. So I feel like when it comes to Tolbert, there's just a lot of big boy ball being involved where he's just not even being considered in the concepts in the passing game at all, right? Another play here. This play is just purely goofy. I'm not sure what he's doing. Not sure what the play call is, what Kellen Moore has him doing. It looks like he's supposed to come down and help and, and, and pass pro. Doesn't touch anybody. It's running in circles, running in circles. But once again, even if he was supposed to leak out, that was going to be a backside throw. Dak was looking to either come to, looks like this is Michael Gallup, right? Or CeeDee Lamb. Now, it doesn't make sense from the concepts, right? Because you pretty much got four on two right there. So, I mean, that's just Kellen Moore being Kellen Moore. But as far as Jalen Tolbert, I don't know what his responsibility was in this play. Was it a lapse on him? Probably. But why would that even be a focal point of your offense with this rookie? Look, just run around in circles. Run around in circles. Run around, run around, run around, run around. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Like, you have to get this kid involved and involved early. And I just don't see that happening thus far. Even this play right here. You have him block on defensive end. That's your that's your third round <laughs> that's your third round wide receiver right there. He's helping block on, on the defensive end. And even if he was to chip and release, even if it's a chip and release, I don't care, bro. I am going to CD Lamb, first down. And so I just think that Kellen Moore has to get him involved. This is what we need to see from Jalen Tober. This is what I like to see. Boom, stack play right here quick screen just just toss him the ball put him right here where cd lamb is down down bottom just get the ball in his hands and see what the kid can do because like i said if you go back to the scouting report during the draft he does have some toughness about him right he can break tackles he can get yak he can do a lot of things but he's just out there and being the fourth and fifth option and is not even be considered simple rollout Get the ball in his hands. Play action. Simple rollout. Get the ball in his hands. Quick screen. Get the ball in his hands. But you got to get Jalen Tolbert involved. But I feel like with things kind of heating up with Odell Beckham, you're starting to hear about James Washington a little bit. Jalen Tolbert, if you're going to have an impact this season, you better get off to a great start and get off to a start early because the, <laughs> they laid low in the clip and bring in other guys who are going to take those reps away from you. So boy, Jay Tuck, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. Also, the merch store is below. Appreciate all the support. 
Use the code CFO Gain to get your 10% off, man. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And Jalen Tolbert, you better turn it up a notch. Peace.